Hey everybody, DriftBuggy here, and today I'd like to introduce you to a tower that cleans house for a very low cost. That's right, I'm talking about the bottom path sniper today. This tower can carry all throughout the mid game rounds and can still deal a hefty amount of damage to the later game rounds, allowing for the remainder of your defense to handle the rest of the balloons much more easily. Starting off with its upgrade, we have the fast and even faster firing upgrades, which both increase the sniper's attack speed by 42%. Next, we have the semi-automatic rifle upgrade, which slaps the tower's attack speed with a massive 3 times attack speed buff. Fourth, with an upgrade that finally doesn't just upgrade the tower's attack speed, we have the full auto rifle that, well, also slaps the tower with a 2 times attack speed buff, but it also gives it an extra 2 MOAB damage to the tower. Finally, we have the elite defender upgrade. What this powerhouse of an upgrade does is it multiplies the attack speed by 2 once again, and every percent of the track the balloons traveled through adds an extra percent attack speed buff on top of everything else mentioned. It also has an ability that triggers when you lose life that multiplies its attack speed by 4, and this buff stacks on all the other buffs the tower gets, making it more like a mounted 50 caliber machine gun instead of a sniper. This ability lasts for 7 seconds and goes on a 10 second cooldown that can be negated entirely if you have the Master Defender Monkey Knowledge Point. Fun Fact With all the Elite Defender's attack speed buffs active, it attacks an insane 195.91 times faster than the base Sniper Monkey with a staggering 123 shots per second. No wonder some mobile players lag when they use this tower. Next, we have its cross-pathing options. Starting with the top path, we have the Full Metal Jacket upgrade, which gives the base attack 2 extra damage, increasing it to a total of 4, it also gives the attack Lead and Frozen Balloon popping power, and it also gives 1 additional MOAB damage when given to the Elite Defender. Next, there's the Large Caliber upgrade, which increases the tower's base damage by 3 to 7, and gives, once again, an extra MOAB damage when it's given to the Elite Defender. Second up, we have the middle path, which starts off with the night vision upgrade. This upgrade gives camo detection along with 2 extra camo damage. Now, the second upgrade, Shrapnel Shot, is a lot more complicated. What this upgrade does is it makes it so that whenever a sniper attacks a balloon, a 45 degree cone consisting of 5 shrapnel is created on the opposite side of the balloon. Each piece of shrapnel does 1 damage and has 2 pierce. In most cases, it's much better to cross path to the middle path as it increases its total DPS noticeably more. Also, each piece of shrapnel is able to be affected by an alchemist buff, which launches the shrapnel's DPS through the roof. You should only cross path to the top path if you want an aggressive single target damage option, so it's really only used for boss events. Now for its DPS display. This tower is incredible at dealing with slightly to heavily grouped balloons and moabs, as you can see it demolished the rounds 63, 76, and 78 ceramic rushes, along with the stacked BFBs of round 75 with only an ALK buff and an MIB buff. Another reason why I find this insane is because with no difficulty price modifiers affecting it, it only costs a total of $22,800 to go all the way through the bottom path. Considering that incredible cost and great DPS, what do you think about the tower? Let me know down below. Anyways, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and maybe join the community discord down below. Also, maybe watch this video too if you want to learn more about a different tower. Anyways, this has been Drift Buggy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye